You're still on to the world now on TBC News. And before we continue with more stories, let's return to our earlier story on the U.S. government, the administration of Donald Trump, to be precise, extending a pair of immigration bans that may block green card applicants and temporary foreign workers from entering the country. We had joining us live, and yet again, he is back, uh, the publisher of... New Americans Magazines, Mr. Deba Wadiai. You're welcome again, Mr. Wadiai. Thank you very much. By the way, Mr. Wadiai is speaking to us from Ohio, United States of America. So first of all, um, can we measure in terms of you know, economics how much blow this will do to new immigrants uh, who have applied for their green cards? Yeah, it's a uh, very especially for those that have applied for their green card that uh, are already being processed, is going to be very uh, tough for them. It's a very tough blow. And um, I, I, will, I will want to bring in um, the, the latest uh, evaluation analysis by Forbes uh, magazine that said that the legal uh, migration to the U.S. has been reduced by 49% uh, since this administration came in, which means those that would have been legally uh, be in the United States uh, through the uh, green card, through uh, work permit, have been reduced uh, by 49%. And this will affect the economy, you know, if it continues with approximately uh, 59%. Which means that it's not only affecting those that are supposed to be legally uh, here, but also the economy of uh, the United States in terms of inputs of uh, you know the number of people that would have been working here in the United States legally. Okay, two questions in one now. First of all, how is this being perceived in? Uh, the United States currently, particularly between the Democrats and the Republicans. And then again, how uh, much support or opposition is it uh, getting the Trump uh, government, particularly uh, against the backdrop of events that uh, shaped the American election? Uh, definitely the both sides, they, they've been looking for how you know, to have uh, immigration policies that we, you know, benefit the United States because uh, uh, whatever immigration policy a country has, it has to be uh, in the interest of the United States. Uh, but they, they are, they have opposing views, opposing uh, uh, policies in terms of, you know, how do they allow people to coming legally and how do they allow people uh, come. So they have to use the congressional, you know, um, uh, the Congress to be able to come up with policies that would benefit the country, which uh, the last uh, government and the present government, you know, have not been able to do because uh, they really do not have the majority in the Congress. And so that has been the problem here. Uh, they actually want, you know, to improve on the policies, to improve so that the uh, the the uh, country can benefit from, you know, legal uh, immigration and uh, see how the economy can grow based on that. But they need uh, to come up with uh, a bipartisan agreement that will help the country. So is it gaining support for the Trump administration or more opposition, particularly set against the backdrop of the uh, just concluded U.S. presidential election? Well, like I said, it's, it's a contentious issue. You know, it's not uh, we have uh, we have uh, people that don't understand what it means, you know, to have uh, legal uh, immigrants here in America, and we have people that understand. And so it's not uh, an issue that you, you want to really give to uh, the Trump administration or the Republican Party or the, the Democrats. It's a contentious issue. They want to have a policy that would be, would be um, beneficial to the, for, to the country. And so uh, the people need 
a lot of education and also uh, the, the, the government and the Congress. They, they need to come together and reach an agreement. But what is on ground right now, you know, has been serving the country very well before uh, the, this administration decided to really uh, come with tough measures that deny legal, you know, uh, immigration to the United States. It has never been like that, you know, before. Uh, even the uh, one of the uh, former president, uh, President George Bush, did a book, you know, that encouraged uh, immigration, you know, his latest book, you know, encouraged uh, immigration. And so uh, it is this government that really is anti, you know, legal uh, immigration on the grounds that uh, it, it will take people's jobs, uh, which is not uh, proven, you know, uh, statistically. All right, Mr. Owadi, I, um, if I get your point, uh, the matter of support or opposition for it is somewhere or somehow merged in the context of education and enlightenment. We thank you very much for your time on thank you. Uh, The World Now on TVC News. Thank you very much.